Hello, I am Ashwin, a senior technical account manager here at the AWS office in Seattle. Today I am going to show you how to create an interface Amazon virtual private cloud endpoint by using AWS management console. Let's get started. Sometimes customers ask me how they can connect to AWS services privately from their VPC without going through the public internet. I tell them to leverage the interface VPC endpoint service to privately connect to supported AWS services. Interface endpoints are powered by AWS private link and use an elastic network interface as an entry point for traffic destined to the service. The elastic network interface is created in the selected subnet and is assigned to an available private IP address from the subnet IP range. Interface endpoints are typically accessed using the public or private DNS name associated with the service. Some of the AWS services that currently integrate with AWS Private Link include Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud, Amazon CloudWatch, AWS Glue, Amazon Simple Email Service, AWS Code Deploy, AWS Elastic Beanstalk, AWS Lambda, and more. Services hosted by other AWS accounts or AWS Marketplace Partner Services can also be accessed privately by using interface VPC endpoints. To create an interface endpoint for an AWS service, after logging in to the AWS Management Console, navigate to the VPC console. In the navigation pane, choose Endpoints. Choose Create Endpoint. Enter a name to the endpoint. Note that this is an optional field and isn't required. Now let's create an endpoint to securely access the EC2 service. For service category, choose AWS services. For service name, enter EC2 in the search bar and then select the service. You can confirm the endpoint type as interface endpoint by looking at the type column. For VPC, select the VPC that you will access the AWS service from. Under additional settings, the enable DNS name field is active by default while creating an interface VPC endpoint. This feature allows you to make requests to the service using its default DNS hostname instead of the endpoint specific DNS hostname. To use this feature, the attributes enable DNS hostnames and enable DNS support must be turned on for your VPC. To create an interface endpoint for Amazon S3, you must turn off this feature because Amazon Simple Storage Service does not support private DNS for interface VPC endpoints. For subnets, select one subnet per availability zone that you will access the AWS service from. When you select more than one subnet, an interface endpoint is created in each subnet that you specify. Select the IPv4 address type. For security group, Select the security groups to associate with the endpoint network interfaces. The security group rules must allow resources that will use the VPC endpoint to communicate with the AWS service to communicate with the endpoint network interface. For policy, select full access to allow all operations by all principles on all resources over the VPC endpoint. Otherwise, select custom to attach a VPC endpoint policy that controls the permissions that principals have for performing actions on resources over the VPC endpoint. This option is available only if the service supports VPC endpoint policies. For more information, see VPC endpoint policies. Use the optional tags field to add a new tag and then enter the tag key and the tag value. Choose create endpoint. It takes a few minutes for the endpoint status to change from pending to available. As you can see, the interface endpoint we created is now available and we can see all the information about the endpoint under the details section. We see five different DNS host names under DNS names. The first DNS name represents the regional VPC endpoint DNS host name. The next two names represent the zonal DNS hostnames for the VPC endpoint. The fourth name represents the default DNS hostname of the EC2 service. The last name represents the dual stack endpoint for the EC2 service in US West 2 region. 
when you make a request to a dual stack endpoint the endpoint url resolves to an ipv6 or an ipv4 address depending on the protocol used by your network and client now let's move over to the terminal to test our access to the ec2 service from our vpc using the interface endpoint i already created an ec2 instance in the private subnet and have logged into it make sure that you create an aws identity and access management role that has ec2 read access from ec2 service and attach this iam role to the ec2 instance issue the command aws ec2 describe vpcs endpoint url followed by the regional vpc endpoint dns hostname as you can see we got the output for the describe vpc's call that we made to the ec2 service using the interface vpc endpoint so now you know how to create an interface vpc endpoint by using aws management console thank you for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at aws <laughs>